this one, what we're going to do is create the outlines for our ground floor windows. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is just widen this room a little bit. For some reason, it's too narrow. So I'm going to tab into edit mode. Just press A once or twice just to make sure nothing is selected. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get a measurement between these two points. So if I come over here, get segment, I can show that. I'm just going to press A to deselect and B for box selection. And for this, what I'd like it to be is 3.2. So I'm going to get it close here, zoom in and just press GX and bring that over to 3.3 .3 and left click. So I'm just going to zoom out here and that looks a lot better. I'm just going to press A to deselect. So the next thing I want to do is mark in the windows. They're going to begin roughly in this position and right the way around to somewhere up here. This will be a combination of doors and windows, but I'm just going to mark in a window for the moment. So control R to add an edge loop here. Just left click and control R, add one up here. So the distance I need here is going to be 1100. So again, I'm going to get a segment, press A to deselect. I'm just going to box select this and drag this into approximately 1100. Just left click. I can zoom in now and press G and X and left click. I can match this one up here. So if I select it, press G, X, I can just snap that to there. So what I'm going to do is just switch to face very quickly. And I'm going to select these faces here. And what I'm going to do is separate them. So if I press P and choose separate by selection. And I can come back to object mode now to select it. It's a separate object. I'm just going to tab into edit mode now and add some edge loops here along the horizontal. Left click twice and I'm going to add two up along here and do the same thing up here. And I'm actually going to delete that dimension. So if I switch to face now, I'm just going to actually delete the internal faces here so we get a nice looking outline so i'm just going to select all of these and just hit x and faces and that will do for the moment so what i'm going to do is tab back to object mode select this object and actually delete those dimensions now what i'm going to actually do is rename this object before i move forward Double click in the outliner and rename this to ground floor windows. Press enter. Select this now and tab in here to edit mode. So control R, I need to add some edge loops down here. Left click twice. I can do the same thing up here. And I'm just going to go around and just add in two edge loops for each of the windows that I'm going to have there. So if I switch to vertex now, I need to get a size on this. So I'm going to get a segment. Just going to box select this and zoom in here. Can scale this on the X and I'm looking for three meters here. I'm going to get something close and just zoom in, press S and X. Just left click, I can zoom in a little bit more, S and X. And that's going to be close enough. Okay, so I can just match these up here. So I'm just going to press A to deselect, press B. So deselected, I can press G and X and snap this over. Just press A to deselect, press B for box selection. Press G, X, and again, snap this over to match the length of this window. Okay, I'm just going to delete that dimension. And I need to do something similar here. I need to get a segment. So I can box select these and scale them up to approximately 2 meters. So S and X. Get something close. I'm going to zoom in. S and X. And left click. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here. So again, segments. Box select this. And I can actually box select these ones down here also. And I'm going to switch to the individual origins. So if you press the period key, choose individual origins. I can press S, scale these on the Y, get close. I'm just going to zoom in here to this and press S and Y and left click. Okay, that's going to be close enough. Okay, so they're all my windows. What I'm going to do is switch to face selection. I'm actually going to delete these dimensions now and I'm going to select the windows. Okay, and again, I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to press P, choose selection, tab back to object mode. I can actually select this lot, shift select this and just control J to join them together. 
Okay, now I'm just going to come back in here and add some edge loops along here. We'll do the same thing for them all. Switch now to faces and just select the internal face there and just delete them. So select all of these. And press X and faces. Okay, so if I come back to object mode now, I can just come over here to the outliner and I'm just going to rename this again because it got switched. So ground floor windows. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one. Oh, 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 oh,